Hi everybody! In business there are times when we have to be very direct, but there are also times when we need to be more polite and less direct. In this lesson I'm going to show you some great tips to make your English more diplomatic and more polite. Welcome back to English for Professionals. I'm Derek and I'm here with another short lesson for you busy people. Before we get started, a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new lesson. And now let's get started. As I said in the intro, sometimes we need to be direct. But if we are too direct, it could lead to misunderstandings and it could damage relationships. Often it's better to choose a more diplomatic style if we want to communicate successfully in business. And now let's look at six different ways to be more diplomatic and more polite in English. And at the end of the lesson I have a task for you. I'm going to give you six direct examples and I'm going to ask you to make them more diplomatic, more polite. So make sure you stick around until the end. Tip number one is to use words and phrases that soften what you want to say. Can I add something here? If we add the word just, just before the verb, it makes it softer. Can I just add something here? Say it with me after three. One, two, three. Can I just add something here? I didn't understand that. Here, if we add quite before the verb, it has the same function. It makes it softer. I didn't quite understand that. Say it with me. One, two, three. I didn't quite understand that. The price is too high. If we add a bit or a little before the adjective, again it makes it softer. The price is a bit too high. Say it with me. One, two, three. The price is a bit too high. We have a problem. Here, if we add slight before the noun, it makes it softer. We have a slight problem. Say it with me. One, two, three. We have a slight problem. And now let's combine those words with some phrases we can use to further soften what we want to say. The price is too high. If we add seems to be, again it makes it softer. The price seems to be a bit too high. Say it with me. One, two, three. The price seems to be a bit too high. We have a problem. If we use it looks like at the start, it makes it softer and less direct. It looks like we have a slight problem. Say it with me. One, two, three. It looks like we have a slight problem. Another very common phrase to soften what we want to say is to use I'm afraid at the start of a sentence. Now this has nothing to do with fear. It's simply a polite, less direct, more diplomatic way to express something. Let's look at two examples. I can't finish the report by Friday. I'm afraid I won't be able to finish the report by Friday. Say it with me. One, two, three. I'm afraid I won't be able to finish the report by Friday. The second example, I don't have time on Thursday, can we meet on Friday instead? I'm afraid I'm not available on Thursday, would it be possible to meet on Friday instead? Say it with me. One, two, three. I'm afraid I'm not available on Thursday, would it be possible to meet on Friday instead? Great, now let's move on to tip number two. Use negative questions to make suggestions or to disagree politely. We should try to reduce training costs. Now to turn this into a negative question, it's very simple. We take the modal verb should, turn it into a negative, so we have shouldn't, and then we swap positions with the subject. So we start with, shouldn't we try to reduce training costs? And hear the way my voice, my intonation goes up at the end to make it a question. Shouldn't we try to reduce training costs? Say it with me. One, two, three. Shouldn't we try to reduce training costs? 
it's much more diplomatic and sounds less direct. 20 euro would be a better price. Wouldn't 20 euro be a better price? Say it with me. One, two, three. Wouldn't 20 euro be a better price? It would be better to change the design first. Wouldn't it be better to change the design first? Say it with me. One, two, three. Wouldn't it be better to change the design first? But it will be more difficult to organize. But won't it be more difficult to organize? Say it with me. But won't it be more difficult to organize? Tip number three is listen and show understanding. Take a look at this short dialogue. We don't have enough resources to start the project now. I disagree. Even if you disagree with what the other person is saying, don't just say, I disagree. Instead, show that you're listening to them and that you understand their point of view. Let's have a look at three different ways to do this. I can see your point, but I'm confident the team will be able to manage it. Say it with me. One, two, three. I can see your point, but I'm confident the team will be able to manage it. I know what you mean, but we think the team can handle it. Say it with me. One, two, three. I know what you mean, but we think the team can handle it. That may be true, but I believe we have a strong project team who can make it work. Say it with me. One, two, three. That may be true, but I believe we have a strong project team who can make it work. Tip number four is very simple. Use the word sorry. This is one of the easiest things you can do to make what you want to say less direct and more diplomatic. Sorry, but can I just say something here? Say it with me. One, two, three. Sorry, but can I just say something here? Sorry, but I don't quite agree. Say it with me. One, two, three. Sorry, but I don't quite agree. Sorry, but I think your first suggestion was more interesting. Say it with me. Sorry, but I think your first suggestion was more interesting. Tip number five is avoid negative words. I think that's a bad idea. Now this is very direct. And as I said at the beginning of the lesson, it is necessary to be direct sometimes. But let's change this one. What we can do here is change the sentence into a negative sentence, but use the opposite of bad. I don't think that's such a good idea. Say it with me. One, two, three. I don't think that's such a good idea. I'm sorry, but that's impossible. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure that will be possible. Say it with me. One, two, three. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure that will be possible. It's going to be very difficult. It's not going to be easy. Say it with me. One, two, three. It's not going to be easy. Excellent. Now it's time for my final tip, which is to use modal verbs. Words like could, would and might. It will be hard to complete the project on time. It might be a bit hard to complete the project on time. Say it with me. One, two, three. It might be a bit hard to complete the project on time. Can you give us more time? Could you give us a little more time? Say it with me. One, two, three. Could you give us a little more time? We want to have an answer soon. We would like to have an answer soon. Say it with me. One, two, three. We would like to have an answer soon. Great. So those are my tips and now it's your turn to practice. In a moment, you'll see six examples which are direct and it's your job to see if you can make them less direct, more diplomatic, more polite. You have two options to do this. You can pause the video and then write your answers into the comments or I've also put the task in the description below. You can copy and paste it from there. 
put it into the comments and then write your answers next to it. Are you ready? Let's have a look. That brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope you found it helpful and I hope you can start using some of those tips to communicate more diplomatically and to have successful meetings, negotiations and so on. And if there are any other areas of business English that I can help you with, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to cover those topics in an upcoming lesson. If you like this lesson, hit the like button and share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already and don't forget to join my email list. Every two weeks I send out my free vocabulary email with additional business English, words from the news and everyday English for you to learn. So check it out, the link is in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.